Sorry to uh, be talking to you over uh, the course of such a tragic uh, situation, but uh, a terrible thing for Nottingham, a terrible thing for, for, the, for the country, really. We don't really know much about what's happened so far. No. Um, I don't know whether there's uh, uh, any Nottingham MPs that we'll be speaking to a little bit later on who might be able to shed a bit more light on it, but it's an unusual situation, isn't it? It's heartbreaking, and you think of the impact on the families as well. I mean, we, we need to get answers, don't we? And for the whole community, there must be shook up by this mic. Yes, absolutely right. I mean, uh, the problem is, I suppose, for people who don't know the area, it's difficult to, to envisage what has happened, but, but, but if you're in Nottingham at the moment, it's, it must, must be very difficult to be, to be getting by, to be getting to work, to be doing anything, really. Hmm. Uh, absolutely. I mean, I, I had in my area only last week um, an armed robbery in a shop next to my office and I, I saw how that shook up the community. So something horrific like this, gosh, it, it'll leave a lasting impression, definitely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, we've been talking um, here at Talk TV over the past week or so that, that there is a sort of, you know, a sense of foreboding in a lot of our cities at the moment. There's a lot of violent activity going on. There's a lot of things like uh, uh, muggings and robberies going up and all that sort of thing. And with, with something like this, it just kind of focuses the mind on the crime. Yeah, completely. I mean, crime, um, you know, excluding the likes of um, um, fraudulent crime, which, which wasn't um, recorded prior to, prior to 2010, has actually gone down, Mike, which mm. I know it, it doesn't, doesn't feel like, feel that, like at times, that at all, that's does it? What I mean, you're not, the first, you're not the first Tory yes, MP who's, no. who's been on here telling me that, and it's not, I don't see it as a party political issue at all. Yes. I, just, I just think that, generally speaking, people feel that the country is a little bit more kind of on the edge than it's, than it's ever been, in, in recent memory anyway. I, I, I completely agree. I mean, also, it doesn't help when we see the protesters stopping traffic and, and I mean, for example, we've got a police and crime commissioner who's now the elected mayor, um, who, in, in, in Yorkshire, who all their messaging out there is about focusing on hate crimes and if you feel that somebody's um, done a hate crime against you that they're not focusing on the on the big things which is like like you mentioned burglary mm. um, you know people need to feel safe on the streets to me that's a priority yeah I mean I saw a video yesterday and I think the case is already being investigated there might have even been some arrest made in Leeds of, of some some very brazen uh, robbers just smashing in the front window of a jewelry shop and taking stuff out with their bare hands, you know, without fear or favour, weren't, weren't that, even worried about being arrested. That was next to my office, Mike. Oh, was that next yeah. to your office? Oh, that was the one. Yeah, my office is. Yes, that's absolutely. Yeah, it's frightening, and isn't it? it? And no, it, it was shocking. Yeah, and and it's really com com the, completely. And I, I went to see, I went to see the um, you know all, the, all those who work in the shop on Friday and. It, it was terrifying, actually, mm. you know, to just go about your everyday work and then suddenly, you know, armed robbers, uh, they're robbing it. It's horrific. Yeah, and it's the brazenness of it, I think, that takes people aback because you kind of mm. don't expect to see that, one, and two, you sort of expect something to happen while it's going on, you know, and when it doesn't, you just worry that, you know, is anybody paying attention here? Yeah, com completely. Um, I mean, I, I think we agree, you know, um, Mike, on a lot of things, but, but strong on policing and, and to me, life should mean life for criminals as well, you know, where, where um, there's, uh, they've killed somebody for murderers and we need to be that really strong arm of the law, like in the 80s, you know, and 70s and 80s when I was growing up, what we saw, we, we, we need to see, go back to that strong policing. Yeah, absolutely. And the police obviously are doing a very tough job. It's you know it not, it's not easy to um, to, or to always remember that because you know they get a lot of criticism and the ordinary sort of run of the mill frontline police officers, as we've seen today in Nottingham, you know have to do some pretty horrendous things. Mm. Oh, completely. And and I think the thing is we've we've recruited lots of. Um, um, police officers, but still there's that skills gap while, while the new police officers catch up really and get that knowledge. So, you know, it's, it's trying to fill that skills gap as well. That yeah. is certainly a problem when I speak to my own local bobbies on the beat. Right. So, I mean, some of them have been there a couple of years and they're, and they're seen as like veterans. Mm. So we, we really need to make sure we invest in the training of, of our police force as well, especially the new recruits. Yes. Um, but as I say, I mean, again, when you see an incident like this, I think the first instance of, uh, of an alarm was around about 4 a.m. this morning, um, and they certainly wheeled themselves into action pretty, pretty quickly, really. Um, and, and luckily, it doesn't yeah. seem, it seems as though the incident is now over, at least, so there isn't any kind of residue uh, from it.
Mm. No, I completely, Mike, I mean, we, we do need to praise our police. I mean, in the armed robbery, what happened in Morley, next to my office, um, three of the people, three of the robbers was caught um, pretty much, much immediately. So they was there and um, arresting, which was fantastic to see. And, and also, that quick response, it, it, it fills the community with confidence, which is so important, isn't it? I think that's right, because the more police officers you see on the street, the more safe you feel. I mean, it's a simple equation, really, isn't it? Oh, completely. Absolutely. We need to, as I said earlier, we need to see more um, bobbies on the beat. And um, I, I, I've had lots of public meetings in my area where there's been a spate of burglaries. And um, I've had, like, police officers there. And, you know, the whole community who went to that meeting, they all agreed they want to see, you know, more presence because that certainly puts off these criminals. Yeah, absolutely right. Now, um, there was supposed to be some other major stories going on this morning. The COVID inquiry is, is getting underway. We were going to cover that, but at the moment that's mm. kind of had to go onto the, onto the back burner. But also the row yes. between Boris Johnson and, and Rishi Sunak continues. Um, what are you making of that? Mm. I mean, I, I feel Boris's frustration, to be honest. I mean, um, it's for an outgoing prime minister, they have the honours list um, and it is meant to be, you know, honoured by the current prime minister. And, and clearly something's gone wrong there for the likes of four MPs um, now not going into the Lords. And we've seen these, obviously, um, two extra by-elections, Mike. And yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going on because I wasn't party to those conversations, mm. but clearly there's um, something amiss. Yes, uh, but you you are on the Boris Honours list, so so you've managed to make it through the okay. vetting procedure, so congratulations to you for that. Thank you. I mean, it was a massive surprise. I only actually found out on Thursday, Mike, as I was um, driving up to Yorkshire, right. and um, I got a call from number 10, and I thought, oh, God, what have I done now? Mm. Uh, but it was a lovely surprise, and, um, no, obviously, it's a great honour. I just wish my mum was around to see mm. it. She died at Christmas, and, um, oh. um, yeah, I mean, she... Yeah, so my mum would be saying, bloody hell, she's become a dame. Yes. <laughs> Which is, you know, surprising. Yeah. Exactly right. Well, well done, and thank you very much for talking to us. I know it's been a difficult morning uh, for everybody here.